tripped on a wig. You'll never believe what I just did. Um, I'm not pregnant, I'm not pregnant. But if you guys remember from before I got pregnant with the twins, I'm very paranoid about being pregnant because I don't like being pregnant. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I'm pregnant, but I'm just so paranoid that maybe I could be pregnant. I know what you're thinking, not again, Colleen, here we go. I'm not pregnant, I, ne I literally, it's not like after Flynn where I was like, I never wanna get pregnant again. I still want more kids after I had Flynn. So we were considering every option and then we accidentally got pregnant, lost the pregnancy, and then I was like, wait, I do want to be pregnant again. And then we tried to get pregnant. Now we are we are done. Is that funny to you? We are done done. Dunzi di dunzi di dun dun do. 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 No more kids. Dunzi forever. Never want to be pregnant again. Dunzi di dunzi di dun dun do. But I'm paranoid, so I am on birth control, and we do everything that we can to make sure that that does not happen. But I'm a fertile myrtle, I guess. We have done everything in the past to not get pregnant and somehow gotten pregnant before. So um, we are going above and beyond to not get pregnant. However, my period's late. <laughs> I, think, I think it's because my body's still getting used to this birth control because I've only been on it for a few months. So I think that's why, but also I've been really tired. Again, I have baby twins, so it could just be because I'm tired from the twins. And it could be, you know, anyway, by the way, I'm not pregnant because I would not post this footage if I was pregnant, just so you know. So even though I haven't seen the test yet, I'm not pregnant because I would not show this if I was. Uh, uh, anyway, so I took a test just because I'm a paranoid freak. So I'm up here with Wesley waiting five minutes. Um, even though there's literally no way I'm pregnant, I'm just scared. <laughs> I never want to be pregnant again. And I know I said that with Flynn, guys. And I even posted a TikTok saying like, I would never get pregnant again. And all the comments were like, you said that before. I have three kids now. We wanted two kids. Ever since we first started dating, we've always said we only wanted two kids. And we got really lucky and a super amazing miracle happened. And we had twins and now we have three kids. So it's one more than we ever thought we would have. So we definitely don't want more. Um, we're happy with our three and that's it. But I'm still paranoid that, you know, what if I got pregnant? Even though we're doing everything we can to not make that happen. So, it's been two minutes, three minutes. I think I can check. I think it's, yeah, is it three minutes or five minutes, Wesley? I don't know. Let's go check. Okay, we're gonna go check the test. Let's check the stupid test. Let's check the stupid test and make sure that it's negative. Let's check the stupid test. Let's check the test. Let's get the test. Is this funny to you? Is this funny to you? Yeah, it's funny. What do you think, Wesley? Pretty negative, huh? Just making sure I'm looking at it from every freaking angle. I do not want any more babies. No more! Pretty confident that that's negative, which is what I thought. 99% sure always that I'm not pregnant. But that little 1% of doubt freaks me out and makes me test. That's why I take a thousand pregnancy tests always. Okay, it's negative. It's negative. Hey guys, so Flynn and I are just working really hard. I asked Flynn what he was doing because he came in here and he said he was working. Huh, Flynn? He's just... He's just working over there. And asked what he was doing and he said, just a video. And I said, what kind of video? And he said, Miranda video. Yeah, he asked me if he, I wanted to come work with him. So that's why I'm in here. We're both working right now. How's your work going? Uh, my work's pretty good. How's your work? I'm just still working. Uh, Mama, mm -hmm. my work is so great. Oh, good. My work is so great too. Over here. You got a little bit of trucks over there? Yeah. In your work? Oh, that's pretty cool. I got a little bit of Miranda on my work over here. What kind of work are you doing? Truck work? No. Oh, I thought you said you got some trucks. Um, I'm doing some vacuum videos. Oh, you're doing vacuum videos? Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Obviously, is it like a review video? What kind of video is it? It's kind of out in the video of like that vacuum. I'm doing that. Oh, cool, 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 cool. It's so funny, like, you always hear about, like, 
bring your kid to work day or like, you know, whatever your parents do is what you think of as like a work or a job. A work is a job. And I never thought about the fact that my kids would think like making videos is a job. <laughs> I don't know, even though it is my job, obviously. Like for me, when I think of like, when I was a kid and I thought about working, what a job was, it was like a nine to five office job because that's what my dad had. And so the fact that my kids think that working is like making videos and editing videos is just so funny to me. <laughs> he has no idea what other jobs are. I don't, I mean, he knows what construction jobs are, like construction truck jobs are, but anyway, those are cute. Um, but he just left work, so I think we're off the clock. Okay, <laughs> so a while ago, I did a TikTok of my beautiful, perfect husband putting on chapstick because this really funny girl made a TikTok saying like, POV, you're a guy putting on chapstick, and she's like, like, like that. And so I was telling him that now it's like a trend where girls are like doing things like guys, like POV, I'm a guy just standing. They're all really funny. It started with Dodie, who's like a genius singer, but she did one where she was like a guy using face wash and she was like, <laughs> like did it so hard and aggressive on her face. He was like, what's wrong? I don't understand what's funny about it. It's just, so it's just girls it's doing normal way. things the normal way that guys do them in a normal fashion. It's funny. And why are you laughing about it's it? It's funny because all guys do it this way. And I think all girls are collectively realizing, wait, why do all guys do it this way? Like the chapstick thing, like why do you all go like, how are you so that's how you put on your chapstick. <laughs> no. And then this one is so funny. So I just showed him this one, which is a guy drying his hair. How else would you dry your hair? <laughs> how else? How else is your hair supposed to be dry? Why so it's aggressive? Not funny. Why does that have to be so aggressive? It is funny. It's, it's, how do you, it's how top do you put tier gently? comedy. Gently? Yes. You you can scrunch it. You can just like dry it nice and like dab it. But pat? <laughs> You're gonna pat dry your hair? Wait, come here. There's another one I wanted you to see. This one. It's a guy brushing his teeth. <laughs> so just a person brushing their teeth. Because <laughs> it's so aggressive. So anyway, it started this whole thread of all these girls doing like a guy and how a guy pets a dog. But love, how do you not think these are funny? Oh, this one really got me. A guy taking off a sweatshirt. Like why do guys grab their shirts and sweatshirts from the back? I don't think you do that actually. You don't take a shirt off like this, right? You're gonna pull over a hoodie up. No, I feel like you go like that. Like a normal like that? <laughs> yes. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> Everybody just does. Standing around. <laughs> Wait, love, how do you take off, like pretend you're taking off your shirt right now. If I was taking off a hoodie, I would do that. But if I was taking, I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, you do. How you do like shirts this. go? You go like this. I literally and then you ask that question and you forget how to take off your shirt. <laughs> Anyway, it's a really funny trend. Not funny. It's so, oh, this one is so funny. A guy holding a plastic bag. Hold on. <laughs> How else are you supposed to hold it? It's not funny. How else are you supposed to hold it? There's literally your hands hold? through the hole. How do you hold a plastic bag? You put what? your hands through the hole. <laughs> the funny thing is, is like guys could do it to girls too because there's things that girls do that guys don't do. Not all guys and not all girls. No, I can not do this. No, no, no. Yes, guys could do this about girls like in how we dry her like with the towel like scrunching it or like, you know, we don't do things so aggressively. Putting on moisturizer, how we're gentle whereas guys are like, but what's funny is guys are getting upset as they're trying to do it to girls, but they're trying to do like, the funny thing about it is that it's mundane, normal things, like a guy holding a cup. And it's like very like mundane, everyday things. And guys are like, a girl driving a car, and they like show a picture of a car crash. And I'm like, well, that's not the joke. But like, and so guys are trying to do it bad. But that would be you if you drove a car. Me, but <laughs> not. But do you see what I'm saying? How it's like everyday, normal, like brushing your teeth, drying your hair, putting on it's face lotion. It's not funny, just people do it. If you're just <laughs> so doing things Funny. I'm like slightly more exaggerated, but it's just how things are done. There's one that reminded me of you so much. Hold on, you gotta come back. You gotta see this one. There's one where the girl's like a guy leaving a house, and she just goes like that. I can't find it, but she goes like this low. <laughs> so you have all your stuff. Why is that funny? Because you do it every time. It's like house. lame observational humor. It's like it's, it's so like funny. yeah. Oh, airplane. Airplane's going to scratch, right? No. Love me. No, I love you. I, it goes both ways. Like, there's stuff that, like, generically most girls do. How else would you know if all your things are in your pockets? <laughs> you don't use pockets. I don't. I don't. That's most of funny. your garments, no pockets. It's funny, lovey. It's not. And this one, this girl holding how she holds a fork. She's holding a fork like this. <laughs> Sometimes you need to hold a fork like that to get the bite. How else do you get the bite? Daddy, daddy. Yeah. You Watch. Here, <laughs> oh, gosh. if basic instincts are right, how do you hold this? 
How would you how would you hold it? Perfect. <laughs> you know what's Perfect funny? job. Is the top comment on all these is why do they all look like toddlers who uh, are learning how to use their fine motor skills? Flynn. I love you, Flynn. <gasps> uh oh. Hey Flynn. Good holding that fork, dude. Gus is outside. He can be outside. Yeah, he can I like be outside. outside now. Let's lock him outside. I love you and I love all the ways you do everything. I think you're wonderful. I just think it's funny that all, the, the joke is that like, I don't get the joke. The joke is that girls are realizing like, oh, all guys do these things all the same way. Right. And they're trying right. to catch yes. Gus. But that's the joke. The joke is that like me going like, oh, Eric does that. But it's like, you realize all guys yeah, kind of do it the same way. Not all guys, obviously everyone's different, but maybe it's not funny, but I found it very funny. I was like laughing very hard. And the funny part is like all these guys are in the comments going like, I don't see what's wrong with any of these things because all guys do it. And the top comment on mine when I did the thing with the chapstick, the top comment is says, the fact that they all do it the same way makes me question who's actually right. And I think that's what's funny is that like all guys do everything one way and all girls, not all, I shouldn't be saying all. And stereotypically dudes, a specific brand of dude does things the same way. I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna get myself in trouble. I need to stop talking, but. Anyway, that's all. I'm craving a smoothie. Banana. Oh, it's, so funny. it's not quite ripe. Good at improv, I know he is. Okay. All right, next we need some peanut butter. Some milk for deliciousness. This put it? Sure. Okay, I tasted it and the bananas are definitely not ripe, so it's kind of gross. So I added some chocolate ice cream. And now I'm adding, Glenn, do you know what it's time for? Yeah. He's watching SpongeBob for the first time right now. Glenn, put it in. No. You're supposed to put it in here. Chocolate chips. Here, Glenn, try it. What do you think? Wait. Said the um, goat. You know the goat. What did it say? Jump on the J rocks. Jump on the rocks, and the spider then entered. She was very busy spinning her web. <gasps> A fly. Said the um pig. You want to roll around in the mud with me? <laughs> spider then entered. She is very spinning. Oh, she's very busy spinning a web. What's next? Look, it's a ramp. It's <laughs> then the, the river is down there. Are you all done with your book? Are you done reading it? It's just a bridge. Okay. Are we done reading the book? Look, there's water down there. Wow, that's pretty neat. Well, this is a ramp to go over the water. Of course. Is that pretty good? Mm -hmm. Want to play ramp with me? Yeah, I thought we were reading a story time. You all done with your book? We're gonna read it downstairs, actually. Oh, are we? But it's bedtime. We're reading it up here. Whoa! <laughs> Hello, everybody. It has been a very stressful and difficult mommy night day. The kids were just decided to all be upset at the same time. It was hard. Flynn took forever to fall asleep. He didn't want to fall asleep. And then once we got Flynn to sleep, both the twins were crying and they wouldn't fall asleep. And here's the thing I know about kids. When um kids get upset, they get too upset, it's really hard to calm them down, at least in my experience. So they just got to a point where they were too upset and I could not calm them down. It just took a really long time. Finally got them to sleep. And as I was putting them to sleep, I realized I was like really shaky. I was like, what's wrong? And I was like, oh my my god I didn't eat dinner because Eric ordered dinner I got here and he got me a burger and he got a burger but because we have three kids and they were all needing to eat and be held and taken care of at the same time I ran over and I took a bite of the burger and then I ran back to the kids and then I forgot to eat the rest so I ordered food at 11 p.m. so I'm waiting for my food to come just get the kids to sleep and I realized oh my god I have to go wash bottles so I told Eric I was like I have to go down and wash bottles oh my god and he's like okay so he's washing the babies so I'm talking so soft. It was a lot of work to get all the kids to sleep, so I'm like so scared I'm gonna wake them up. And all the bottles are washed. He washed the bottles. 
Honestly, to me, that's the nicest thing in the world. <laughs> like when his parents were in town. Okay, well he's vacuuming so I can talk full force now. I can hear the vacuum going on. When his parents were in town, whenever, like his mom would wash the bottles for me. When my mom's in town, she washes the bottles for me. When his brother was here, he washed the bottles one time, like a couple times, I don't remember. Anytime someone washes those freaking bottles, it's like the biggest act of service and love you could possibly do for me because I hate doing it. But look, the bottles. They got washed. It's just the glorious. It's just one less thing I have to do. I'm so happy. Um, I'm so grateful for him and that he did that. Yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna eat some food and probably go to bed. Um, I'm gonna be completely transparent with you guys here because when am I not? The last few days have been really hard for me emotionally, mentally. Are we surprised? I feel like I was kind of getting the hang of everything. Not the hang of it, but like I just wasn't as depressed <laughs> for a second and the last couple of days have been really hard. And it's just, sometimes it's hard to be a mom. And I know that I'm like, I'm really lucky and I have a lot of help and I'm so grateful for the help that I have and that I have a great family and all that. But um, you know, last night I said to Eric, my one goal for tomorrow is that I can fold the baby clothes that I just washed because I've washed their clothes in their swaddles yesterday and I didn't get to take it out of the dryer and fold them. And I was like, that's my one goal for tomorrow. I'm setting an easy goal. If I didn't have all the things I had to do today, I wanted to film a Miranda video. I wanted to edit. There's like a bunch of work stuff I wanted to do today, but I was like, I'm going to set an easy goal, realistic goal. I just want to fold the clothes from the dryer. And I couldn't do it. I didn't get it done. I didn't even eat. So there's some days that are just like, you don't get to do anything. It's not even that I didn't get to do anything for myself is like sometimes you don't get to do just things when you're a mom when you're a parent and that's okay it's just hard sometimes in the last couple days have been hard for me emotionally mentally i'm just like feeling really down and eric keeps going like are you okay are you okay and i'm like i don't know i think so but he's like he's been saying i just look like sad i don't know um but my postmates is here so that's good news anyway um i don't know why i'm saying all that i guess just because i always say everything but yeah thank the lord i'm not pregnant and um the only thing I got to do today that I was like, I'm gonna do this, was make that smoothie, and it was balls. It was not good. But anyway, I don't, I'm just rambling. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna eat my food, and I'm gonna make the bottles and go to bed. Hopefully this week, Corey and I can plan the live show. I think that'll put me in a good mood and make me really happy and excited because I'm really looking forward to going on tour just for a couple dates here and there. And this blanket smells moldy. Hmm, that's not good. Like it really smells like mold. Love you guys. I don't wear this because it stinks. Bye. You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.